and we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. Griffin Chestnut is Richard's um, online YouTube alias, um, which he goes by Griffin Chestnut. And here, Richard reviews um, anything from books, TV shows, um, and wings. Chicken wings. <clears throat> um, and uh, anything to do with juggling uh, three balls or more. Richard is um, able to review uh, all these things for us on this channel. Today, Richard is reviewing a book for us, and that book is titled Dark Ages America, The Final Phase of Empire. And this is written by Morris Berman. Um, this is the author of the best-selling The Twilight of American Culture, a phenomenon known as Blitzkrieg. Um, this is a brief tour of the American horizon, revealing a cultural death valley. The rest of us can learn quite a lot from Dark Ages America, and that was by Gore Vital. Uh, Richard obtained this piece in 2014, and he uh, completed reading it in the year 2014 as well. Uh, Richard is uh, not a native Spanish speaker, but uh, he does do improv, and he uh, resided a lot of intelligence while doing some coastal work for the environment um, when he was in Boy Scouts. Um, Richard grew up in uh, Long Island, New York, in the Rockefeller area, and he uh, proclaims that nature is one of his fondest memories. So this piece right here, we're able to tell it, it scared him beyond belief. And um, although Richard claims that there are numerous facts inside this book, that the author tries to present us as numerological uh, boundaries, Nonetheless, uh, there are inconsistencies with the time and space uh, in terms of interesting pictures that were uploaded on Instagram, um, obviously post-release for Mr. Morris Berman. Uh, he did upload on his blog his full uh, review of this, and you can find that in the link in the description. Um, Richard uploaded his blog in 2014. And it was a crazy stir of um, exactly the reenactment between uh, what exactly started playing out the role between the Massachusetts State Police and the uh, Bridget Bishop Society known as Cry Innocent, as uh, they give testimonies throughout the actual testimonies from 1692 and the jury of modern people. Uh, with disposable cameras, uh, obviously committed to witchcraft, which sounds like a good time, but ultimately can be brought back into a sanction of protein and delicacy. Now, as we take a look at this piece, we're going to look at the forward dimensions, as long as the, the left brain wall and the right brain wall, and we're going to take a look at this piece and how two drinks can bring into a substantial post between the uh, acrylic version and the dialectic version. So according to the side, you go left in and right out. So there's two phrases, and you go f think out and then brim all in. And there's two brim walls that you can pretty much diacrat. And there's also a cookie in there. And the cookie smooths around the egg side. And the egg side is about um, this big. It's a small egg side, like that big and it fits right there, and then you just wave it off. And once you wave it off, it's glided down. And the, the substantia from here to here, from here to here, all has good rhythm. Boom, boom, good rhythm on the side, good rhythm there, and it's got perfect posture. As much as you can get for this posture, it's delegated throughout each circumstance. And Richard is a fan of this. Richard is a part of the Crackdown Street, the Resistance Pride Brigade, and he is a life aquatic Zizu, which is Spanish for Rottweiler near the Hyundai. And the Hyundai, of course, is not only Richard's uh, primal car of use, but to be Hindu in a snowstorm 
you don't really care about going to the bank because there's no H&R Block. There is uh, different types of banks, uh, Chase, uh, TD, uh, Bank of America, uh, the AT&T conglomerate bank, and the uh, post office that does its research through a sweat, sweet, confetti-filled nature of Fruity Pebbles, which is a dialectic point of view. The conglomerate that substantiates this piece from the past others goes way, way, way back, and Richard's able to substantiate his claim between the other two passes, and then that way you can find the other two marks, and that's what you get in this piece right here. It's a nice piece based on the brutality of different circumstances throughout the Dutch chronological order. Now, it is unconfirmed, of course, if this eyeball uh, belongs to Mr. Morris Berman himself. Um, that is unconfirmed. Richard was unable to confirm it through his uh, burning desire for matchmaking once eHarmony and uh, Match.com made its firework Native American display in the uh, waters of the internet during the late 2009. So we're going to take a look at the piece here, and we're going to take a look at the uh, the whole piece as itself. It's a pretty big piece, um, as you can tell. Not bad girth. Uh, length is pretty good. It's got great wave. Really good wave. Very good wave. And the top, top cream, side cream, side cream, and of course this side. Now we do have some brim wall, some crease edging along the side, but it does say Morris Berman, Dark Ages, America, the final phase of Empire. And then there is a, a acrylic standard, standard point. So on the back, we're going to get into some of the uh, dialectics here, and we're going to get into some, uh, we have the, uh, the genre right here is current affairs, which is debatable, uh, especially post-read. As uh, Richard uh, concluded, his opinion on this differs much from that of Ruby Ridge and Waco uh, and the other ATF uh, screw-ups that have happened in the past. But you can see here, there is a uh, dialectic point of view, some culture praise from Mr. Morris Berman himself, his little mini-bio, and then of course there's more including press about the cover design and the uh, general posterior of car insurance. For more information, please visit morrisberman.com, uh, not to be confused with um, griffinchestnut slash youtube.com, griffinchestnut richard reviews. <clears throat> now is the price. We're going to get a little convoluted here. Now it does say Canadian $20, which you can only amount that the American price from the United States of America uh, is less than $20, but since they pampered this up with a, uh, a yellow patchwork we're unable to tell the actual price so Richard was able to get this for 10 paperback not a bad piece for its uh, for its view but uh, it does have some brim wall damage um, so it's used but uh, Richard ultimately does get nice cream pictures along the sides and it's very good uh, very good imagery so Dark Ages America as you can tell, has a fluent pastor. Okay, even as we open it up, 50% off sticker price, no rush buyback. So this goes into show about why uh, it's phased out a little bit and that the uh, 2006 uh, version has been depleted in price since the first comedians sold out Radio City Hall uh, six times. Which is to say, uh, nothing is the shame, shameful moment. Uh, most of the text is a, a fluidity of uh, natural reoccurring disasters that the author tries to pronounce. Uh, I think there is a few Richard writings in here. Nothing to proclaim about. Um, the back index is a very appreciative storm front. Even the back has some writing from the previous owner. This is not Richard's handwriting, so we know that there is some dialectic language, maybe a little um, uh, formative action between the two standards. And even on the back here, there's more dialectic language. 
This is all uh, graffiti um, <clears throat> pointing from the author, uh, page 136, 142, and 309. Of course, this is giving into some more of the uh, previous owner's personal footnotes that are a little bit illegible at the moment, but can near or less be an addition that can be racked up to the Batman character with millions of years of research on the online um, forums such as Professor X and uh, any other uh, X-Men and Marvel characters. Um, so that's it for um, Dark Ages America. This has been an official Richard Review here on RichardReviews.com and Richard is the coolest book reviewer on YouTube, uh, supposed to save us from the meteorite. And um, this is Dark Ages America by Morris Berman.